Hello everybody and welcome back inside the box for another episode of Gumpla Kit Bash with me, Kukumatsu. In this episode we will be reshaping the chest plates. So let's jump right in. Okay, well I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do here, but um, I think what I will do is start with these panels here. I really like the shape of this top panel, so I don't think I'm going to change that very much, but I do want to make these side ones more like it. The thing that I like about it is that it's, it doesn't have this bevel on the outside. It's just a pointy thing. And I'm also thinking about bringing the shape of this down there, so that means filling in that triangular area. I'll go ahead and pull these off and uh, get some styrene and see what I can do with it. So I think I'll start by filling in this space. I'm gonna actually file this back a little bit to get more of a point like this one. I anticipate that I will go through the orange part and we'll have to backfill it in. But I'm just gonna start filing and uh, see how it goes. Even just that simple filing has already created a shape I like a lot better. It is quite thin in that little spot there, but I think it's okay. So I'm going to fill up this side here and fill in that detail and uh, see what it looks like. I think that's looking pretty cool, but I do feel like you will see inside here so I might just have to fill that up. So the only thing I'm thinking now is, since there are some obvious plane changes on the top piece, I should probably have something like that on the side too. So I'm actually thinking along that line there, I will make it a little bit sharper. Just because it's hard to see, I'm gonna put some masking tape on there where I want the line to be and see if I can just file up to it. I'll do the opposite side now. That's actually worked out pretty well. All right, that's looking pretty cool. Okay, I pull the chest parts apart as far as I can. Basically what I want to do is make it look bigger, so I'm going to fill in a bit up here and down there, do something with the grating there, and then uh, probably add a little bit over here as well. I'm going to make this entire piece orange, so I'm going to be working on it as one. I'll just paint the metal parts with a paintbrush later on after I've done the orange. So what I'm going to do first is basically bring this line across and fill in all of that top area there. It's going to be a little bit tricky just to figure out the shape and everything. I want to keep the, the back kind of integrated the way it is there so it'll be a sort of triangular piece at the top. I think what I'll do is I'll just start cutting some of this styrene to find the shape. Ultimately I'm going to need the, the extra thickness but um, I'll just start with a thin one because it's easy to deal with and then uh, see how I can go from there. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I think that's essentially the shape that I want. So now I'll cut that same shape out of a thicker piece of styrene. Now this is the thickest piece of styrene I have, but I don't think even that is going to cover it all. I'll have to uh, add some to the top later. I think what I'm going to do actually is, rather than try and get the shape perfectly the first time, I will just glue this piece on and then I can file that back to the right spot. That might be the easiest way to do it. Okay, that's a pretty good start. Well, I glued it on backwards, but uh, you know, these things happen. That's why I think it's always important to put it back on the, the main thing before you go too far to make sure that what you're doing is the right thing. So what I actually want is for it to be like that. Okay. That is better. Now I can just trim that back a bit. The thing I'm sort of contemplating now is just how wide is too wide. The overall idea is to fill in a kind of a grate system or a grill in the, this area that kind of connects visually as one big shape. This will be uh, filled in down here. The thing I don't want to do is overpower the circle in the middle visually. I think I'm gonna go with that and see, yeah, I mean, I can always remove more from that end if I have to. It's easier to remove it than to add it. So I think I'm gonna stick with that. Okay, I got the other side on there as well. I think I'm gonna also do the bottoms now just to get it the general shape I want it and then I can start doing the filler part. Okay, cool. It's looking pretty good. I'm liking the overall box shape of the open grill area now. Next thing I want to do is get that piece in here.
Okay, that's still pretty rough, but I feel like I'm getting the shape that I was hoping for. That little bit of extra thickness in there makes a big difference to me. And the fact that it fills up that gap that I've never liked. You can see I've tilted the uh, shoulder armor back a bit, and um, that was sort of my intention from the beginning because it is kind of a dynamic pose. And now that I have that kind of sorted out, all I have to do is uh, fill in these extra spaces and get the shapes working properly. All right, a few hours of filling and sanding later, and I think it's looking pretty good. And that is the end of the episode. In the next episode, we'll try and figure out what to do with the intake vent grating area. So if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you give me a like down below. Check out the playlist for previous videos. Subscribe if you want to follow along, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.